so I just wanted to show you guys how I typically paint my AR-15s. Uh, these are just some that I've, that I've put together uh, just recently. But uh, first thing I do is I assemble all the parts that I want to paint. Now I typically these ones I want to leave stain, the stainless barrel, so I pulled the barrel off. Uh, you see the barrel's not there, and the the grip is not there. And then I've got the charging handle, and those those things are not in there. Um, the grip I have is actually rubber, so the paint doesn't really stick to it. But everything else here, um, I, I mean, I'm going to have to remove the rubber um, butt plates on these. So remember to remove anything that's rubber. It's not going to pick up that paint. And the next thing you want to do is you want to get off all those oils and greases and things like that. So during the assembly process, I put um, grease around the castle nut uh, and then around the lugs. I actually uh, assemble everything like it's going to be assembled the final product so I get the barrel on there tighten that up. So I do put grease around those um, to prevent uh, it from seizing. So you want to use uh, alcohol or, or what I found to, to work pretty good is just regular parts brake cleaner. Um, so I've already uh, sprayed these down. The nice thing about brake cleaner is is that it dries really quickly and it gets rid of all the grease and oils and everything so then you have a good base to start with. But next what I do is uh, I do a flat um, black base coat and the only reason why is because I you know you buy different parts from different companies and their idea of black is a little different so this is an Anderson lower and then we have a spike tactical upper and then a matrix matrix arms flow tube um, so each one of those it's, it's hard to tell in the video but the matrix arms is actually kind of a lighter black sorry about that my fingers in the way it is a the matrix arms is a lighter colored black than everything else um, so I just like everything to have one solid base coat All right, so after you've got your secondary color picked out, you want to go get you some uh, fishnet stockings. I like the really, the really tight hold ones. They give a really cool pattern. And they, this one actually has a little gold flex on it. It's kind of funny. But you uh, stretch it out over, over the gun, and see like areas like this. What I'll do is I'll kind of pull it across as I'm painting. You just gotta be really careful. Uh, make sure you know you try to get it as close as you can to to the gun. But these areas where it where it touches the gun is gonna leave a really cool pattern. So those are the areas that I usually spray the color. So down along the the uh, free float tube. So this one's ready to go. Um, so I'll get this other one. This other one put on now. All right. So now I'm gonna spray this. This is the raspberry color. What I do is I like to do a stripe pattern, um, just because I think it gives it a better, cooler look. I I don't want to have the whole thing be one solid snake skin color, but I just do I just do kind of stripes. And you want to do pretty dark on the stripes that you're doing. So I do one side at a time. Make sure you get the bottom. So I just do stripes. Through. And then you, you don't want to move the fishnets at all, otherwise it's going to smear your, your colors. So like this, the, the upper kind of twisted a little bit. I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want the pattern to mess up. And so this is actually my sister-in-law's gun. This is the color she chose. She wanted to do a raspberry color. So it's really cool on the Magpul stock right here. It's going to leave a really cool looking design there. So then I go over it again as it's already dried. This dries pretty quick when you're doing light coats. And then I just do the other side. I try to match. But you know, if it's perfect, I don't think it looks as good. So, but I try to match up the other side. The 
this is the fun part. And then typically, when uh, when I get done and I take this off, I let this dry pretty good. But it, it does, it looks really cool when you pull off. When you pull it off. So I kind of make it so that they wrap around either side so there's not any solid ending lines. But there it is. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think, Hunter? That looks pretty good? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do the tan color. I do the same thing. So, and I mean, you really can't mess it up. So, the more, obviously, the more color you put on, the more of that snake skin you're going to see through. But I like it to be subtle. The light colors I found actually work the best. You always want to make sure you get your stripes through all the way around. I think it gives it a cool effect. But that's pretty much done. I'm going to just go through darken up. So there you go ahead and get closer, Hunter, so you can kind of see. See what it looks like coming around this side. So what you're doing is you're masking off with the fishnet so it's going to leave dark, solid lines. So it gives it kind of a snakeskin look, and then it it fades. You're not doing solid lines, so it looks really cool when you when you pull it off. So we'll show you that when we're done. One thing that you're going to want to make you do on your guns is make sure to give them ample time to dry. Uh, what'll happen is you got to move this. You know this this actually has been sitting here for a few minutes, and it looks like it's pretty dry, but there's a few voids and stuff. There might be some areas where you had thicker paint. And so you want to make sure that it, you give it plenty of time to dry. Um, there's no rush to do this. So let it dry. And then, uh, so I'll, I'll let them sit here for probably another half an hour or so. And then I'll come out. We've got a little bit of a breeze today, so uh, they dry a little faster. We'll come out, take it off, and then uh, we'll seal it off with, I usually do, you know, five or six light, light coats of clear coat. And it makes it really durable. Um, but then again, you know, when it starts to, uh, the thing I like about this camo pattern is that when you, when it gets bumped in your truck or whatever, it's, you really can't tell because, because of the pattern itself. So it, it lasts really long and it, and it looks good for a long time. So anyway, we'll show you guys the, the results here when we get done letting it dry. All right. So what I like to use is a matte clear coat. I just want to show you guys, we've got the, you can pretty much see the, uh, the pattern here. So it's a really cool, really cool design. I really like what it does. So this raspberry is a really cool, really cool color. So anyway, the paint job is pretty much done. Now what we do is we just take our time, put, put several thin coats of, coats of clear coat on to protect the paint. And we're good to go. One thing I forgot to mention is make sure that you get a very good um, coating on areas of wear. So right here on the shell deflector, you're gonna get some marks on there. So to prevent that from wearing out too quickly, um, go ahead and put extra, extra care there. And then you'll notice I don't, I typically don't try to put any color there so the, the wear marks don't show. But if you're shooting off shooting sticks and things, make sure you get a good coating on the underside of your float tube um, so you don't get a lot of wear there. Um, you know, around the grip, typically up around this area. 
is where you can see wear. Um, and then along the top where the uh, charging handle uh, goes. You don't, you obviously want to make sure you don't get a lot of paint in there. Otherwise you're going to be cleaning some out as you're assembling the gun. Um, but I typically make sure I don't spray a lot around where the pinholes and the safety are, safety selector. But that's pretty much it, guys. All right, now we've got the finished product. So, just gonna give you an idea what it looks like, all finished up. They turned out really nice. Anyway, that's a quick, easy way to get a good, good paint job on your AR-15s. Hope you guys like what you saw in the video. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.